Hey everybody, Eric Cole here with Switch Adapted Toys. Uh, today we're going to be adapting the Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Slice of Learning Pizza. That's uh, quite the name. Uh, but it's a really easy toy to adapt. I'll walk you through the process. Uh, you will need a specialty screwdriver in order to, to do it, but we will have links to that screwdriver in the description, as well as links to the toy if you want to pick that up. Uh, and you can do this yourself. It's super easy. I'll walk through the process. Uh, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to, to our channel. Like this video. It, it really does help us out in supporting what we do um, and, and making play possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to remove the screws around the exterior of the toy. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to get into this cover here. Now this cover is a specialty type of screwdriver. So this is the specialty screwdriver that you'll need. It is a TA 2.3. Uh, I believe they're all color coded. So if you look for a green cap, that should be it. Um, you can see it's a little triangle tip. It's not a Phillips head. You can't get into this toy without this tool. Uh, but they're pretty cheap. Again, we'll have one link in the description. So we use our TA 2.3 to get this back cover open make sure you keep these screws separate from the rest I mean it's pretty easy to tell it's not a Phillips head but you don't want it to get lost all right once we got that open next we need to get these Phillips head screws out so we'll just go around the toy don't worry about getting the back battery cover off you don't need to get it off just these outside screws. So now that we've got all the screws out, uh, we need to uh, unattach this, these two wiring harnesses that were located in this compartment here. To do that, just kind of make sure you're holding onto the, the uh, harness and not the wires. When you kind of pry them apart, just pull them apart, they'll pop right off. You just don't want to pull by the wires, otherwise you could uh, ruin the harness. So with those disconnected, we can remove the back cover. Sometimes it takes a little bit of persuasion. There we go. Cut. And then you just need to make sure you fish those wire harnesses through the hole. Okay, so we've got two parts now. We really don't need to do anything with this. We're just gonna uh, work on the back cover. All right, so here is the mechanism that we're going to adapt. Now, when the pizza slice rotates, the little notch on it hits this little switch right here and it sets off the toy. Now, since we don't have it connected to the harness, it's not gonna make any sound, but this is what we're going to adapt, is this little mechanism here. So you can see there's a blue and a yellow wire here, and these are the wires that we're actually going to adapt. Now, we can do this a couple different ways. If we want to maintain uh, the mechanism where if you spin it, and uh, th that it plays a song. We could just solder our wires to these two nodes, uh, one wire to each on our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. That's great, that leaves the toy fully functioning as is. Uh, if you're not too worried about the toy playing a sound when you rotate the disc still, what we can do is just snip these wires off. It will make it a lot easier and we can just solder directly to those wires. But I'm gonna show you basically how to solder to these points. Uh, that way we can, you know, you just, you don't lose any functionality of the toy. So before we do that, we need to prep our headphone jack wire. Now we buy these uh, as like a, a splitter. Think like old school, like sharing your headphones with somebody. Uh, these work great because you get two out of it uh, and they're pretty cheap. So all you need to do is snip off the male end here with some wire cutters and then you've got two. We we'll only need one so you can set the other one aside. Now we need to strip the casing off of the wire. And you'll see on ours, now a lot of these are, uh, they can be different uh, for ours. We've got a bunch of copper wires that we're gonna just separate out and we're going to twist together. I'm just gonna rotate it like this to twist them together. So we've got a nice wire there. And then oftentimes you can just use your fingernail or you can use a pair of wire strippers. And I'm just gonna remove a tip 
of the white and the red wire. All right, so I stripped off a little bit extra on the red wire because what we need to do is actually twist the red wire and the copper wire together. So essentially now I will have two wires, a white wire and our red and copper wire twisted together. Now this is great, except we've got a bunch of wire that's exposed and we don't want it uh, shorting out or anything like that. So what we need to do is put a little heat shrink wire cover on the red and copper wire uh, and just leaving the tip exposed like I've got on the white. So in order to do that, let me get some heat shrink wire cover. I'll be right back. All right, so I got a little bit of heat shrink wire cover here and I'm just gonna cut it to size. And again, I just want the tip uh, exposed. So cut to the right size. You're gonna slip the heat shrink wire cover over the wire. All right, get it all the way down there. Nice and tight, perfect. So once we have our wires on there, what we're gonna use is our heat gun. And it takes just a little bit of heat and that wire cover will shrink down. Bang and you're good to go. Um, if you didn't have a heat shrink wire covers, you could also use electrical tape, that'd be totally fine. So now that we've got our headphone jack wired, uh, we need to think about how we're gonna get this into the toy. Uh, and so we need to drill a hole into this case so that we can fish our wires through there. Uh, good thing to do is just think about how this mechanism works, uh, where you've got open spots in the toy, and right here, it just seems like a good place to drill. Hey, Eric from the future here. A much better place to drill your hole would be through the bottom of the toy, right here. That way the toy can sit flat on a table. So that's what we're gonna do. Using the appropriate size bit for your wire, uh, we're just gonna drill a hole right through the toy. Just like that. Go ahead and fish your wire through the toy. And then what we wanna do is we wanna secure this with a zip tie. Uh, what the zip tie does is it basically acts as a barrier so that if somebody or a child were to pull on the cord, uh, it doesn't just yank the whole thing out. So I find that the smaller the zip tie, the better, because you can get kind of tight more you know tighter on the wire just fish your zip tie around the wire cinch it down real tight give it a good tug make sure that you can't pull the the wire off the toy and go ahead and snip off the extra zip tie so like i said you could uh you could disconnect these blue and yellow wires and just solder directly you know to each wire and that totally work fine uh, I'm gonna show you a different way to do it. So, uh, in order to solder your wire to the switch, you'll need a soldering iron. Obviously, don't touch the tip, it can be very hot, uh, especially if it's on, mine is not. Uh, and you'll need some solder. It doesn't matter which wire you, uh, which wire you solder to which on the toy, it doesn't matter at all. I'm gonna shorten these wires up just a little bit just so I don't have a whole lot of exposed wire there. Just enough to get the job done. Need some new snips. All right, so what I like to do is I like to get a little bit of solder on the wires before I try to solder them um, to this switch. Uh, just makes the process a little easier. So uh, using your soldering iron, you're just gonna basically br bring your soldering iron in, bring your solder in, it basically melts the solder. I am not like a, an electrician or, uh, I'm <laughs> I don't know if to be dangerous, uh, but this is not hard. Uh, you can do it. It's Someone's gonna probably mock me in the comments of how horrible my solder looks, but it doesn't matter. As long as the toy works, I'm happy. Okay. 
You can always give your connections just a little tug just to make sure that they are gonna stick and stay. Generally now at this point I'd say let's go ahead and test it, uh, but you can't test it until you get all back together. So uh, as long as you're pretty confident that everything is gonna work, go ahead and put everything back together. We'll start with fishing these wires back through this hole in the middle. So you just wanna make sure that you're fishing the wires through here and not through the center portion because there's a post that goes through there. So just fish it on the outside. All right, so we're gonna fish the wires through. Get everything reattached like that. So we'll reattach the wire harnesses before we put all the screws back together. Uh, just to make sure that it's gonna work before we spend the time putting it all back. So just reattach the wiring harnesses. The colors match up, obviously. Make sure there's batteries in the toy, everything's powered on. And I'll get a switch and we'll give it a shot. I'm just gonna plug in the cord. Make sure the power is on. And then give it a test. We can also test to see if this will still operate. Perfect. So that's exactly what we wanted. We are good to go ahead and uh, put all the screws back in and get it all back together. So now we're going to attach the door. You just want to make sure that these wiring harnesses are kind of tucked out of the way, that, that the wires aren't going to get pinched. Okay, once you get it back together, use the TA 2.3 screwdriver to screw those home. So that's basically it. Uh, pretty easy, straightforward build. Um, you can definitely do it. As long as you've got this special screwdriver, TA 2.3, you're all, you're golden. You can do it. Um, if you like this content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, it does help us a lot in terms of supporting what we're doing. Uh, if you're interested in finding more about Switch Adapted Toys, you can do so on our website at www.switchedtoys.org. And uh, if you're interested, if you're a group or, or have an organization and you're interested in adapting a bunch of toys, uh, we have got resources on there and we're happy to speak with you. If that's something that you're interested in, we'd love to help you out. Our whole goal is just to get as many toys in the hands of kids as possible. So again, like and subscribe. Hope you had fun. And well, until next time, see ya. Switch, adapted toys, making play possible.